Hello, my name is Martin Evening, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to work with the slideshow module in Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6. So to begin with, you can see that I have here a selection of stills images and some movie images. You can see these are some edited movie clips. This one's a time-lapse sequence that I created. And I'm going to show how you can mix the stills images and the movies together and also incorporate the ability to apply Ken Burns type effects in the slideshow uh, module, as well as being able to uh, mix the images with the music. So let me just go over to the slideshow module and show you how this works. So just to start off with, I'm going to select the first six images and just run through the controls that we have here. Just to refresh your memory, we have a template browser where you'll find that when you get Lightroom, there are a number of templates that already come with the program. You can select these and see in the preview uh, panel above, you can get a little preview of how they're going to look. And then you can create your own custom templates and save these. And you can see a number I've got down here. This is an interesting one called Kitsch TV, where if you're interested, and go to, you can go to the Lightroom book website and download a PDF and also download the elements that were used to create this if you want to find out more about how that was done. What I'm going to do today is to select the widescreen pan and zoom custom setting that I created earlier, and we're going to work with that. And to start off with, we've got the images set up to a widescreen aspect ratio. I have these six images selected down here in the film strip, and in the tools bar, you can see that I have selected photo selected, which means that if I play a slideshow now, it's just going to use those selected photos rather than all of the ones that I had selected in that collection. So to see a preview, I'll click on the arrow here, and this will generate a quick preview that allows you to see how the slideshow is going to look. And at the moment, it's using a slide length of two seconds for each of the uh, images with a crossfade of two and a half seconds. So this is just basically a simple slideshow similar to what's been available in, Light in Lightroom working with the slideshow module since version one. So let me just stop that now and then look at some of the other options that we've got. I mentioned uh, that we've got music available now. If I click on this button to enable the soundtrack I've got loaded here, it is possible in the music panel to load multiple soundtracks so that you can have a sequence of soundtracks to build up into a, into a complete slideshow. For this demo, I'm just going to choose one here, but if you wanted to add more, you can click on the plus button to add them. And you can see that this is just a short clip of about a minute and a half in length. In the playback panel, there's a manual mode, which only gives you a few options, and then the automatic mode, which I'm going to go to to show you the controls that we've got and show how these can work, working with the music uh, selected above. And so I'm going to click on the repeat slideshow button and select those images with the first image uh, selected. And then if I click on the play arrow, we can see a preview with the music running in the background, just so you can get an idea of how it works. So you can see in that example, just playing through the first few slides that it's got a standard length for each of the uh, images and the crossfades. Now, if I check the sync slides to music option, it will disable those controls there. And then if we play again, watch what happens now, because if I make sure that we start from the beginning with that image, the most selected, click on the play button, And so you notice that when I played that clip with the sync slides to music options selected, how the slide, tran the slide uh, transition or slide change hit the beat each time. So Lightroom was looking out for the, uh, for the beats in the music and making the slide changes take place. So that can be quite useful, quite important actually, when you're trying to mix to, to a music soundtrack to try and get that to happen. 
with a slowish piece of music like this, it's not quite so critical, I think. And so perhaps if you want to, we can <coughs> select a larger number of images and then choose to fit to the music. So if I click on this button here, you can see now that it automatically calculates the slide length duration that's going to be required, um, keeps the crossfade the same, and then we'll fit to the actual length of the music track, which as I mentioned above is a minute and a half in length. So let me just go and click on the play button there, starting from the first image again, and then watch what happens. So we saw in that example that playing the uh, playing the slideshow with fit to music, it was slower, and that was because it was calculating how to divide up, showing each of those uh, stills images plus the uh, the movies I've got, I've got selected there as well, and working out how they would actually fit into the duration of the music track. So you've got the two options to either sync the slides to the music to hit the beat each time, which is advised very often when you're work when you're working with music and trying to get a slideshow to appear cohesive, or you can choose to fit to the amount of uh, time that's available for the music. Now, down here we've got an audio balance control where we can slide between the music and between the video, because I mentioned that I've got some video clips, so I'll just show you here, going back into the library module. If I double click here, you can see that I've got some movie clips, um, which I want to incorporate and bring into this slideshow. I've edited them down just so they're about four or five seconds long, so they're not, not that long. Um, so by being able to mix those in, if I go back to the slideshow module, some of them were recorded on the camera and there was sound recorded with them. So I don't want the ambient sound to affect the slideshow or to be overlapping with the music, but the, sometimes you might want that to be the case. So you have the audio balance control here for you to be able to decide how you want to position that. And I'm going to leave it with the slider adjusted right over here to the music side so that it's only going to play the music. And then we've got the new pan and zoom control where you can adjust between uh, gentle transitions with a low setting or to more um, snappier transitions with more movement by cho choosing a high setting. So if I just give you a sample of how that's going to look, I'll just set it up onto a high setting start off with the first image again and just show you just a few frames so you get an idea of how it's going to look. So you saw in that example that with the pan and zoom set to a high setting there was quite big movements and zooming and panning between each of the uh, each of the images. I think that for this particular slideshow that I want to create, I want to go for a more for a lower setting because it is a sort of a gentle pace. It's uh, it, it's more appropriate, I think, for this particular slideshow and works well. I think. Uh, let's just now select more of images, more of the images that we've got here to make it slightly longer, and I'll click on the fit to music button again. So you can see now we've got a shorter slide length duration of just 2.6 seconds. I've incorporated the movie, uh, movie clips into the slideshow as well. And um, I can click on the preview button here if I want to, or I can click on the play button if I want to play a full length uh, movie. I'll come onto, onto that in a second, but what I'm gonna do before that is I'm gonna come here and choose to select an intro screen and I'm just going to um, choose a custom setting. Let me just um, create a custom setting. I'm going to do a user style text identity plate and then create, um, let me just choose a font to use as well. And I'm going to call this um, Ash Ridge. Autumn. 
click OK to that. And then select a nice color as well to go with that too. And increase the scaling there. And then if I go back to the first, let me just select uh, these, uh, all the images again that I want to play in a slideshow. Make sure the first image is selected there. I've got the intro screen selected and let me just go and click on the preview button to see how that's going to look. There you can see we've got the title coming up on the screen at the start of the slideshow and everything looks fine. So let's make sure I've got the first image selected in the sequence and then I'll click on the play button to play the whole slideshow. And so there you have the finished slideshow. And um, that uh, concludes this tutorial showing you how to work with the slideshow module using the ability to add uh, music tracks uh, and also how to work with the new playback panel controls so that you can mix the music to the, uh, to the uh, slides that you're going to be showing and also the new pan and zoom controls down here to create the Ken Burns style effect.